Hey guys, I'm back here to get you another video of Puzzle and Dragons. If you would like to see more Puzzle and Dragons videos, you know what to do. Go check out my channel and subscribe me now. This video is going to show you how to use the Devil's Team to clear the Grimoire Descendant Mythical. This is also one of the dungeons in the Devil Challenge. This dungeon is actually a lot easier than the other dungeons in the Devil Challenge. For leader, I'm using Lubu as my leader, but you can also use Herald Earth or Red Sonia. My first sub is Red Sonia. Her up change is important for any Devil's team. My second sub is the Vampire Duke. I use him because he has a skill bind resistant. It's definitely not necessary, you can use any good Devil sub instead of him. My first sub is Lilith. Her poison is very useful in one of the floors in this dungeon. My fourth sub is Pandora. I use her because she is a up changer and she also has a skill bind resistant. But you can use other up changer like Haku or Sonia. My friend leader is a Red Sonia because her recovery bonus is very important in this dungeon. Alright, so we are all set and ready to go. For the first floor, you can sweep them easily, or at least do a free ops match to kill some of them. It shouldn't be a problem here. For the second floor, you will get a bunch of jammers right away. You want to target on the cycle first. Try to match a full roll of fire or dark ops to do a massive attack. Heal whenever you can and make sure they don't attack you at the same time. You can store on the minotaur if you need to. For the third floor, no matter which spirit you get, just kill them ASAP. When they're below 50% HP, they're gonna alternate a light attack and a heavy attack. The green spirit can do a 22k damage, so make sure to kill him fast and heal up whenever possible. For the 4th floor, use whatever up changer you have to sweep them. For me, I use Pandora and Vampire Duke together to finish them. You can use Sonya too if you didn't bring any secondary up changer. The 5th floor is the water element Undine. She will skill bind you for 10 turns, and that's why I brought Pandora and Vampire Duke with me. I get 40% chance to block that skill bind. But even if you get skill bind, you can still store on this floor to lose that skill bind. When she is above 30% HP, she will alternate 2 attacks. First one, she will deal 7k damage and change 1 color ops to water ops. 
The second one, she will deal 13k damage and change the water ops to heal ops. So remember to save your water ops and let her switch them into heal ops. You can store on this floor for quite a while unless you damage her to below 30% HP. By then she will do 23k damage to you every turn and you should kill her fast at that point. If you get skill bind, try to store at least 6 turns here. For the 6th floor, all you need to do is match a combo of every color you have on your team for 4 turns to kill him. He will bind your leaders on his first turn, so if you have 6 heal ops on the board, make sure you line them up and clear the bind. If you can't kill him in 4 turns, use the lift to poison him when his shield is down. On to the final boss. It doesn't matter which enemy you get, all you need to do is keep dishing out damage and heal up when you need to. When she is below 50% HP, use Sonia and Lubu to finish her. It should be very easy. So this is it for this video guys, I hope you guys find it useful, remember to leave a comment below or give me a like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I'm going to make more Puzzle and Dragons videos, I am also thinking about recording something else, right now I'm playing The Witcher 3 on my PC, so I might do some footage on that game, or I might download the Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero for my PS4. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So see you guys in the next video.